What's up guys, Cody Piper here back with another video. This is kind of a follow up on another video that I did about DaVinci's scene detection, but now in Premiere they have something called scene edit detection, which is really similar. Basically you take videos that have already been edited together and they're compiled into one clip and they have a bunch of different shots in those edits. And what it does is it detects where the cuts happen and it changes scenes or changes shots and it allows you to automatically make those cuts inside of the editing software. So this is really helpful if you have a project where you can't get into those original files and see where those cuts were originally made or if somebody's giving you a video and you don't have access to those project files for whatever reason. Now Premiere can do what DaVinci could do before, but it's basically going to automatically make edits for you so that way you can see exactly how long the clip is, you don't have to worry about trying to trim it, and you can see where all the cuts are made. So let's check it out. I'm working on a project right now inside of Premiere and I shot some stuff in B-roll in the Pocket 6K. So what I did is I took those clips into DaVinci and I trimmed down just the stuff I needed and I exported just one video clip of all the different sections that I needed. And I knew that I could bring it into Premiere and do the scene edit detection. because I wanted to test it out anyway because it's a new feature in Premiere. So let's see how good Premiere does with this. All right, so here inside Premiere, I have my clips2.mov. That's my file. So I'm gonna just right click on that and I'm gonna click you can do a couple of things. You can click new sequence from clip, or you can drag it here into this little sequence thing, or you can bring it into a sequence that you're already working on. So I'm just gonna drag it over there, kind of like dragging stuff, it's pretty cool. So now I have this clip here, and I have a bunch of different shots that I use and different edits on the shots. So what I'm gonna do, it's actually really easy. So all you do is you right click on your clip, and you go right here under speed duration, you'll notice this new thing, scene edit detection. Have I been calling it scene cut detection this whole time? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Do the scene cut detection, because I want scene cut detection, which is really similar. Okay, click on scene edit detection. Now it's gonna give you three different options, which is cool. So the first one's apply cut at each detected point. So it's basically gonna make little cuts inside your timeline. So if you're working in this timeline, or if you like, like choosing your selects within the timeline, then you could choose this, and that's the default option. But you can also do create a bin of sub clips from each detected cut point, which means it's gonna make a cut, take that sub clip, put it into a bin, and every time it makes a cut, it's gonna make it into another sub clip. So it's gonna feel like you have the original footage in your project window broken up into little pieces. So that that's a really good option too. And you can also just create a clip marker at each detected point. Maybe you don't wanna mess with this clip at all, you just want the markers there. Um, or you want to make notes for something on each cut. That's a cool, a cool option as well. So I'm going to do apply a cut at each detected point, and I'm going to create a bin of sub clips so that way I can pull in the clips that I want to. Let's click analyze. Cool. Go for it, Premiere. Well, that's analyzing. Go ahead and take a minute to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We do all kinds of cool videos on this channel. At least I think they're cool. That's why I make them to have fun and to learn new cool stuff like this. Let's take a look and see how it did. Ooh, it got the first one. That's actually awesome. So I was wondering how Premiere, I'm not sure how Premiere does it. I know DaVinci looks at the waveforms and the waveforms don't really change much here at all. Lumetri scopes. I'm gonna scope set. There we go. All right, I can prove it to you. Watch, watch, watch. Hopefully I'm right. Boom. See that? The waveform barely moved. I mean, it's just the little range in the middle that changed but Premiere made a cut point right there. Nice job, Premiere. I was wondering if it was gonna get the ones like within the same scene, you know? So the waveform changed a little bit more there, but it got that cut too. Got that cut, that cut, that cut, that cut. That. Oh, Premiere, you done did it. You done did it this time. And it's actually, I mean, you have more options in DaVinci to like tell it what's a cut and what's not a cut. But usually when I do it in DaVinci, it gives me like these long clips that are like time remapped or whatever. And they're just like one frame, super weird. Premiere, you win this one. This is amazing. Let me check and see the sub clips that we got now. Clips to MOV, scene edit detection. See, we got all of our sub clips, 22 from that. And so it's gonna feel like it's an original clip. So see, it's gonna come here, start here and end right at the end of that clip. So it doesn't give you any more. Makes it feel like it's like actually the original clip from whatever you're editing, which is really nice. You can see how long it actually is when you bring it into the timeline. Like that's how long it's gonna be. You can't extend it at all, I don't think. Oh, you can't extend it? This is gonna show you how long it's gonna be, but if you need to extend it, I guess you can't extend it out. But but yeah, I'm really happy with this, that's awesome. So guys, hope this is helpful for you. It's super easy to do, and for me, it's been a pretty useful feature that I've wanted for a while. So hopefully this helps you guys out. And there's always new features coming out in Premiere and DaVinci and all these programs, so, so leave a like, leave a comment down below if you wanna see the new features that are coming out. Subscribe to make sure you see those videos as they come out, and, and I appreciate you guys watching this video today. It was fun hanging out. Kind of another 2 a.m. tutorial like I did recently. It's only 12.30 right now, but as you can see, it's it's dark outside, so it's time to go to bed for most people. But I'm up working, making videos for you. I will see you guys in the next video. Love y'all. Peace.